Hi, Sure Star Goddess, I'm back. Okay, so I have had a lot of people inbox me, send me messages, Facebook me, email me, asking me about how to better use the dark energy. I have a playlist of all my dark energy and dark matter videos on my channel, and I will also link it below in the um, description box as well, so that you can get all the information together. Um, and the most common question that I get is how to use it and, and how to manifest and meditate with dark energy. Well, I explain it many, many, many times in a lot of my videos, but a lot of the reason that people don't understand it is because they're not in that space yet mentally or spiritually to be able to use this technique. Um, so... I would say it is for either really advanced, not really advanced, but just semi-advanced people who know how to meditate, who know how to use visualization, who know how to manifest already, okay? You have to have those basics down to be able to kind of understand what I'm talking about with the dark energy and the dark matter manifestation and meditations and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so if you don't, then you should, you know, go and find some YouTube videos or you should go read some books on manifestation and visualization and manifesting and all that kind of stuff. So just to get you the basics and then once you get all of that and you know how to do that, then the next step would be to start using the method that I use, which is the dark energy, dark matter method of manifesting and meditation. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also, you have to be able to be alone. You have to be alone a lot. Like if you're always around a bunch of people and you're busy, your phone's going off, you have too many distractions, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, you're not going to be in the, you know, mentality to be able to pull this off because you, you need to focus. You need to concentrate. You got to be serious. You know, you can't be inebriated. You can't get high. You can't get drunk. Um, because you need your full consciousness, your full consciousness and what you really want. Okay. And when I, when I say that, I'm not trying to knock anybody who drinks or does whatever, because I don't care. It doesn't bother me. In fact, I indulge in drinking myself, but when I'm trying to do some spiritual work, I don't, I don't like to drink because my focus and my consciousness and my wants and you know the things that I'm manifesting might not be the same as when I'm sober <laughs> okay so that's why anyways okay so yeah um I am drinking this pumpkin spice tea with honey I ran out of coffee today y'all I gotta go to the store and speaking of going to the store yes I'm going to get the patty LaBelle sweet potato pies. I'm going to go try to find them at Walmart if they haven't sold out. They should have sold out. I mean, the area that I live in, there are not a lot of, you know, people of color. So unless a lot of uh, Hispanics or Caucasians are going to buy them, then they should still be some in stock. I have heard that in some areas they are sold out. So hopefully they're not sold out over here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. It's just, you know, demographics, y'all. Demographics. That has a lot to do with it. Okay. I live on the outskirts of the city. So, I'm halfway in the city and halfway in the country. I have the best of both worlds. I have the small town, but I still have access to nice shopping and stuff like that. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so I want to talk about how to, people have asked me the most, how do you become the darkness? It, you don't become it, you visualize. Visualization, thoughts, feelings, vibrations, you feel it, you become it mentally. And all is mental if you know the universal laws, okay? So when, when you're in that state of consciousness, when all is mental and you don't feel your body because you're in a deep state of meditation and you are one with the darkness
then that's when you create because now your consciousness is linked to the creator source consciousness and you can it's kind of like plugging in a USB to you know your computer you're getting all these files and folders uploaded into the computer now your computer has them and when you need them you can access them okay or when you open up your computer you know it's right there you can find it okay it's it's no longer a separate thing now it's it's combined so now what you have on the disc your music list or whatever you like to listen to or whatever makes you happy it's now in your computer which is what i would consider the dark energy now you're or the universe or the source creator of matter now it's in there and now it knows the kind of music you like you play it now it's gonna like say okay well um this was playing this music on itunes or on, on music and you upload it to a video and you listen to the video and the song played so now you're going to get advertising f for this certain artist or type of music because now it knows what you want so it's sending stuff to you okay so you have to think of it in terms like that okay and <clears throat> it is all mental okay it's all mental so study the, the, the universal laws study um how to manifest, study ways that you like to meditate. I don't know. It's personal for each person. And visualization, okay? Magic is mostly mental visualization and intent. That's all you need, okay? It's it, Y'all are making it way more complicated than it really is. It's, it's super easy. That's the funny part about stuff like this. It's so easy. People are looking for something more complex. And when, it, when they boil it all down, it comes, it's so simple, okay? I can use a thousand uh, vocabulary words to explain what I'm doing, but I don't need to because it's that simple, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I have to get to the post office. I got all these packages to mail out from my Etsy store and a few envelopes I just dropped that I'm not going to pick up. Well, I guess I can get it. Um, so... Okay, so these were the, I'm going to cover up the um, address, but these were those little envelopes that you can mail your wish list, your Christmas wish list out to like your family members. This one's from my daughters to their grandma and grandpa, and this is the back, so I got the stamp on them already, so I'm ready to mail them out. When I get to the post office, then I got to buy stamps, so I'm going to buy holiday stamps um, and stuff like that, but... Not to get, keep getting off subject, this is not really a topic video. I was just trying to clear some stuff up that was, you know, in the comments. And a lot of people have been asking me to do, like, videos on soulmates and twin flames. And every time someone asks me that, I have to tell them. Um, people use those terms out of context. Most people think that, oh, that's the perfect lover or your, your mate in life. But those terms are not solely meant for mates or partners or r romantic relationships they can come in any form any fashion they might not even incarnate on the planet at the same time as you they could be a spirit guide so i can't really do a video on how to find your soulmate or how to find your twin flame because it's super rare to have a twin flame incarnate on the earth at the same time as you are I'm not trying to be rude. I've just answered this question so many times. And I don't believe in it. So I can't successfully do a video on it. I believe in compatibility. I believe in people who have like certain signs and astrology that match up and that are really compatible. Yes, I believe in all that. I don't believe in the soulmate thing as far as just being a romantic partner because your soulmate could be your child your soulmate could be your mother your soulmate could be your grandmother your soulmate could be your sister your soulmate could be your lover okay but it's not only a lover it, you know that's not if you're using it in terms of just a label for a perfect match or a match made in heaven or a good match that's fine but i don't use those terms to describe you know uh, meeting the perfect partner now <clears throat> I could do a video on certain things like um, 
it would be a long series and I'll, I'm sure a lot of other people do these astrology videos of like good matches for certain signs but those, there's still books out there for that y'all so um I, I tend to skip that part I do give relationship advice on how to get certain types of men and stuff like that on my other channel but it's my channel on my other channel is mostly geared towards women single women who are trying to find and marry a man of means <laughs> And if y'all don't know that, and if y'all don't know that side of me, um, I have a lot of people trolling on that video because they're mad because I'm asking women to raise their standards and blah, 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 blah. So I'll link my other channel below. Y'all can check that out too. I do tend to go a little bit uh, too hard on, <laughs> on them sometimes, but you know, that's what they want. That's what they like. So I'll give it to them. But over here, it's more spiritual. It's more spiritual, it's more magical, it's more witchy. So I try to keep the two separate. Because a lot of women and men might not agree to what I say over there, okay? And I don't, I don't hold it against you. Because if I was, you know, in a different situation and in a different time era, born and in a different era, I probably wouldn't agree with half the stuff I say either, y'all. <laughs> so don't take it personally if y'all go over there and oh, can't believe that, you know. Don't take it personally. It's not about anybody in particular. It's just these women ask me for these videos. They request it. How can I do this? Help me with this. Blah, 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 blah. So I help them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So it got back humid in Houston, y'all. It is like muggy and sweaty and hot again. It's not, I think it's like in the high 70s, almost 80. And I have on, I don't have on a sweater today. I have on like my jeggings. Is that what they call the jean leggings? My little fitted t-shirt and some sketcher suede boots. That's all. You know, it's like, it's too hot in Houston. And the weather, you know, you can't tell if it's fall, winter, or spring, or summer sometimes. It's just like, we're close to like, you know, tropical climate. So this is what we get. The remnants, we get the remnants of fall and the remnants of winter and the remnants. Well, we get spring and summer, but we don't get like a full fledged, like it doesn't snow here or anything, y'all. But I'm sure y'all don't care. Anyway. <clears throat> so, um, oh, I wanted to know if there are any type of videos that y'all want to request for me to make during this holiday season um like do y'all want me to do more crafting videos more uh, symbolism videos more uh, dark energy videos more spells like you know spell work showing y'all how to do spells um so y'all tell me what y'all want because i'm like i'm open to accept requests right now um otherwise i will try to find a, t a few topic videos I, I will i will do topic videos so don't be afraid to ask for me to cover a topic now if the if the topic is covered like everywhere already then i i kind of don't want to do those but if it's something that's like really particular or really uh, opinionated and you want just my opinion on it that's fine i will do it uh, I don't like conspiracy theory because I don't focus my attention on those. I don't like um, uh, current events in the news because I don't focus on that. So y'all try to keep it, you know, outside of CNN and outside of <laughs> conspiracy because I think focusing on those things is exactly the conspiracy. Like we shouldn't do it. Okay. So I will see y'all later. A thumbs up. I'm getting ready to go find these a Patty LaBelle pies and maybe I'll do a review and see what all the hype is about after I get back from the post office. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.